Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a little feature as, as, as such in Minecraft that really took me a while to get my head around and that is the different mechanisms within the game of when water touches lava or lava touches water. You might be saying, yeah, that's easy, just makes cobblestone. Well, that's why you are very wrong. So, I'll show you the mechanics now, And but before we do that, I'm just going to outline a few things. First rule is that this is lava flow. So, you have your source block here, and these are the flowing, the flow of the lava, or the flow of the water. So, it's not a source block. It is the flow. This is a source block. So for in lava sake, it is out of a bucket. So I've made this little area just to demonstrate. So when a water touches lava source on this, it will be the lava flow as well. So this is the lava source and the flow is over there. So we'll just put the water down. And as you can see, the lava source turned into obsidian and the lava flow turned into cobblestone. The next lava one is when water touches lava flow again. As you can see, the, when the water touched the lava flow, it made cobblestone and it will do every time it touches the flow. However, when it touches the source block, it'll make obsidian. Now let's jump over to when lava touches water. So here we've got a water source and water flow. Place the lava down. So when the lava touches the water flow, it makes stone, smooth stone, like normally occurs in the wild, in the natural world, not cobblestone. Over here, the same concept, lava, when it touches the water source, it will make smooth stone. Hope that's helped you out. Um, it really took me a while to get my head around this, but basically if you're making a cobblestone generator, so... The concept I'm trying to teach you is how cobblestone generators work. So, and how to make a stone generator. So if you want smooth stone, i.e. the normal stone that spawns in the natural terrain, you want to have lava flow touching water flow. Down here, the, water, the lava drips down and hits the water flow and makes smooth stone. That's ideal if you have a silk touch pick and you want to make a lot of stone. Whereas, if you want to make just... Your normal cobblestone generator you want the lava flow touching the water flow so the lava flow will sneak over and then make cobblestone as such hopefully that makes sense it took me a while to get my head around when i was first starting to play minecraft so hopefully this video will help some people who don't understand thank you very much for watching remember to like and subscribe and it'll help my channel grow thank you very much bye bye